TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are live. So you can come join us if you want. If not, that's cool. Uh, let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. This is a Nears murder. This is brought to you by Scar City. Uh, Sweden's number one gangster rapper shot dead in Stockholm. Oh, he died. He, oh, wow. That's three days ago, huh? Okay. Let's check it out. Yo, this All is right. the Scar City Studios YouTube. Hi, about one hour. I really appreciate you joining me today, and this story comes from Sweden. I've been covering news from Sweden for 19. the past few months. One of them cases involved the victim in today's story as well. In the city of Stockholm, the statistics for the year of 2021 say there have been 273 shootings and 40 people have been killed so far. And this is with a country oh. with an inhabitant of 10.3 million. So in comparison to the UK with over 60 million inhabitants, you can see how high that statistic really is. And the latest victim is an award-winning Grammy artist named Ina. His real name is Nils Kurt Erik Aina Gromberg. Rest in peace. He was the oh, most streamed rapper in the country. This guy. Oh, wow. That's messed up, bro. He said he was award winning <laughs> Grammy. Wait. Go back. Let's play. What's going on? In the past, Aina Gromberg. Named Aina. His real name. And the latest victim is an award-winning Grammy artist named wow. Ina. His real name is Nils Kurt Erik Ina Gromberg. Rest in peace. He was the most streamed rapper in the country. Ah, uh, yeah, actually, I remember. I've been listening to his music and I don't speak Swedish, so I did have to translate some of the lyrics. But I also got a good idea of what his music was about. My interpretation of Aina's music was that he was a drill rapper. He was a drill rapper, but he sung as well. And there's this new trend coming from America where they will sing so it sounds like it's actually a nice song. But what they're saying in the lyrics are actually talking about shootings and ride outs and gang related activity. And the police have openly said today that they believe this is a gang-related murder. As far as I can see from my research, he was signed to Warner Chappelle and also had dealings with Sony Music in Sweden. That's crazy. Did he still live in the same area he came up in when he was, like, or did he move out of the area? Because, man, you gotta move, man. So these are multi-million pound companies that are funding and supporting these artists to sometimes create conflict amongst each other as well. Because a year ago, he was in conflict with two rappers named Haval and Yassin, and they were both jailed for plotting to kidnap the rapper, which was revealed via EncroChat messages. And I've covered oh, wow. that story several months ago. Yassin Mahmood, his stage name is Yassin, who is a big artist as well, he admitted to planning the kidnapping in March 2020. And the court heard that he planned to meet the victim, who was a rival rapper, uh, recording sh bro y'all got too much money to be plotting on stuff like that bro y'all got too much money in y'all respective areas if it ain't about no money man studio God. and lure him to a car park in central stockholm yasin was jailed for 10 months and haval was jailed for two and a half years for conspiracy to commit robbery and kidnap so none of them actually did the kidnapping because it was a crime that hadn't even occurred yet. It's quite bizarre. This is what EncroChat does. It's like the Minority Report. They are now finding out crimes that you've spoken about and not yet committed and charged. I see a Minority Report. And funny. convicting you for them. The kidnapping was part of a broader case involving 30 suspects that was described as the Varim Network. Aina had originally been called to testify in court, but he didn't turn up. A Swedish newspaper called The Daily Aftonbladet reported on Friday that Aina was living with a price on his head after a series of death threats that were made against him had recently... Was he this active in the streets? Like, god damn. My boy had death threats and everything. He was really about what he was rapping, huh? Escalated. He himself was one of several suspects arrested for a stabbing at a restaurant in central Stockholm earlier this month as well. The son of the Swedish actress Lena Nilsson. He grew up in southern Stockholm and often referred to the criminal scene in the area in his work. 
He started his career posting videos to social media and broke through in 2019, releasing a song that translates in English as The Cat in the Area. This got number one on Sweden singles charts and he won several music awards so, and also the Swedish Grammys. Fans and friends have expressed their grief on Aina's social media. He was a real brother to me. I will miss him so much. We released our first record last week and it feels so strange that I spoke to him just a day ago. This was written by Troby, a producer on Instagram. And another lesser known rapper called Raz Shamal was murdered in 2019 in another gangland shooting. And Sweden has struggled in the rise in shootings, the police have said, in past years. And also bombings as well, where the brutality that is being used by gangs in Stockholm has increased significantly. The Prime Minister said this is a young life that has been lost. And I understand that he meant a lot to other people. And it's tragic that we have seen this happen again the shooting took place at 11 p.m in the south of stockholm r.i.p man this type of stuff go on all the time where i'm from you gotta i don't know man you gotta put yourself around the right people get out of these situations you the big you you have a grammy um, several newspapers, The Express, the broadcaster SVT and other Swedish medias have identified him, even though the police have yet to do so. He died at the scene, emergency responders have said, and there has been no arrest yet, but the Stockholm <sighs> police said they are actively working to find out what happened and who is behind the murder. And his music was very American. You know what? That's crazy because if you take the biggest artist out, take him out of his glow, right? This is the biggest artist y'all have out there. So doesn't that kind of take the, the spotlight off your area musically? It's like a, it's going to have a negative impact on the music. It's influenced as well. One song was called Pop Smoke. Another one was called Frank Lucas, which are both American-based movie and music icons, which shows that it's definitely reaching further than just America and the influence Frank that he's Lewis had in the UK. Thing. In his music, I've seen that he predicted people wanted to kill him and also the lack of trust that he had in a lot of people. So sadly, I won't be able to play much of his music in this video due so to the like, amount of protection that his music has got from record companies who are surely going to profit significantly from his death in record sales and streams. So I hope some of that money can go to some good causes to try and help the situation in the city, in Stockholm and also Sweden as a whole. So I really appreciate you joining me today and any updates, I'll definitely keep you informed. Please. That's sad, man. That's real messed up, man. Story of the music industry right now. Please don't forget bro. to send your stories to news at scarcitystudios.com and I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Peace. Mm. Mm. Tycker det är en bi, motherfucker, jag är strap day Vill du ta mig i, motherfucker, det blir whack day Släpp och skicka in, motherfucker, jag är gat day Om hon nu är fin, motherfucker, då är jag tap day Kulorna flyger där som det var krig Priset förvandlas här ute till lik Mannen musiken, det gjorde mig rik Det är klart att jag fortsätter göra musik Hoppas att fria min broder som sitter i cellen Och kommer du mot oss, det är klart att det smäller Och bilen där sladdar du De lackar bredd, de är min låt och de är hur jag slaktade Stå i min väg och jag tar dig och akta den, ey Min broder han sköter det ting You go on crazy Bäst att du sköter det I don't want this video to get blocked because you know how YouTube be doing me and me only. You know what I'm saying? Scar City can post it, but they get to rapping online and they gonna block it. <coughs> man, R.I.P. Man, I hope everybody move militant out there, man, because your life, your energy is precious, man. I'm out of here.